Do I really trust my phone to tell me if I'm depressed? Hey, it's The Healing Mom and today I'm going to be reviewing mood tracking apps that help with managing anxiety and depression, part two. Today's app is called MindDoc and it describes itself as a mood journaling app that also performs mental health screening. So do I trust it? Is it creepy? Is it helpful? Let's get to the review. So the first thing you see is the questionnaire screen and this is the part where it checks in on you three times a day and it asks you a series of questions which change each time you use the app. It doesn't assume that answering yes to a question is negative. It gives you the option of saying how much this burdens you if at all. Here's an example of some of the other questions it asks. What I like here is that the emojis for the different emotions, they never actually stay in the same place twice. It wants you to think about how you're feeling. Then you have your emotions and situations screen, and it divides them into positive, neutral and negative. Here's a list of the emotion and context words and it gives you the option of entering your own emotion and context words as well. Then you get to enter your journal entry. The app checks in with you three times a day, but you can add as many entries as you need. The difference is that these extra entries, they don't go through the same assessment questions as before, so they're actually faster. Above our recent entry, you can see the previous entries from this week, and green means they've been good, aqua means it's been neutral, okay, blue would be for bad, and orange is for very good. And here's my emotion months for the last month. The screening tab shows you by default the number of days until your next assessment. It also shows you the results of your last scan in this section. And here's the result of my last emotional assessment. If you were feeling that your result was a little mixed or potentially displaying a problem, it gives you some information on where to start getting help, both in the real world, starting with your primary care doctor, or online if that's not available for you, and offers to export your data to make it shareable with a professional. The discovery tab is where you can find audio files to help support your emotional health and courses on mental health and emotional health. Some of these are free, but most are a premium feature. I like the courses have exercises to help you manage emotions and start feeling better. Here's the content available at the time of filming, but you can expect more to be added. And here's just an example of some of the audio files available. Although the app is fully functional on the free plan, the pro plan does come with extra features, notably the exercises available in those courses that we've just seen. It also comes with intelligent mood tracking and personalized insights. So there you have the walkthrough. Despite my concerns about being diagnosed by algorithm, I do like this app more than I dislike it. And I've actually been using it for a month, way past the two week trial period. One thing I like about it is that as a person with ADHD, for me, time doesn't really work like it does for normal people. When I have a very intense emotion, it feels like it lasts forever. It's been really helpful for me to see that when I've had a bad period, it was only three days, not an entire week, not two weeks, just three days and not even three days. It was a few moments throughout those days and they were actually good moments with a lot of amazing things in between them. So that's useful. I also like that it allows me to enter my own emotion words and my own context words because having a richer emotional vocabulary and more emotional granularity, being able to say, I feel joyful, not just happy. I feel ecstatic, excited, optimistic. These things are associated with not just better, more robust mental health, but also better physical and immunological health. 
meaning our immune system is more robust. And I think we can all use a little immunity boost right now. I would not trust it to scan for depression or another mental health problem simply because although the questions it asks are similar to what a doctor might ask in a clinical setting, it lacks context. It doesn't know that I'm a mom of a teething baby and that's why I'm exhausted all the time. But I do like that its questions allow me to reflect on my own mental health and coping strategies. For example, I have generalized anxiety. So the question, do I worry about a great number of things every day? I should be answering yes to that. But my coping skills tend to lean heavily towards redirecting my attention, for example, making a YouTube channel, um, planning in case that this thing I'm worried about does happen so I know I'll be okay, making, finding solutions for my anxieties rather than dwelling on them, and then practicing mindfulness so that I don't spin out too much into the future. All of those things enable me to say no when that question comes up. And it comes up quite often. And the fact that I am saying no to that, it gives me a moment to think, I actually am doing better than I give myself credit for. And that's the kind of small pat on the back uh, sometimes we need. Also, I also like that should I ever want to talk to a mental health professional or just talk to my primary doctor about how I'm feeling, it gives me something concrete that I can export and show them. Something with dates and actual events surrounding it. So they can make a better decision rather than me going, well, it feels like it's been going on forever, but I don't really know. I'm sleep deprived. So I think in those points, it can be useful. And although my concern was about data and privacy, the app is designed in Germany and has to comply with EU data privacy laws. I am mostly confident that my data would not be abused intentionally, but data breaches do happen. So I've chosen to use the app without signing up and creating an account and it works fine for that. So there you have my review and I hope it's helpful. If you have found it helpful, please consider hitting like and subscribe for more content that supports you in your upward spiral. Take care. Bye.